Hello, and how are you doing? Now we're into part three of which is the Peter Davison era, so let's get on with it. Uh, Castrovalva. This is actually a great story. This is rather underrated. I know a lot of people dislike this story, but I actually kind of enjoy it. I know, I know that fans only watch it for like part one, but you should really watch it. Watch the whole parts of it. It's actually not that bad once you get used to it. For To Doomsday, this is actually quite an interesting story about having different cultures from around the world where these aliens steal these cultures. So yeah, this is a really interesting story. Definitely worth watching. Another great, good story. Visitation. This is a another good. This is a another good story. Uh, I liked how the fifth doctor says, "Oh, you just killed an old friend of mine." When, and basically, sadly, this is the Sonic Screwdriver's last appearance in the original series until the TV movie. Black Orchard. This is a rather underrated classic. This is a great story. It has a bit of a plot twist theme to it, just like the Edge of Destruction. So this one's definitely worth a watch. And uh, Earthshock. Now this is my favorite Peter Davison, Peter Davison story out of the whole entire Peter Davison era. It, it, this was a great return to the Cybermen, and and this has to be, and it has the most tragic kill-offs of a companion since Dalek Master Plan. So yeah, boy, what an episode! Fantastic episode, none or less. Time flight. I haven't seen this one. Uh, I should give it a shot. Ark Infinity. Uh, this one's rather underrated. Uh, I actually kind of like the story. It's a good story. It's rather underrated. I know Omega's design in this one is not as good as the one in the Free Doctors, but give this one another chance because it's another good story. Uh, Mordred Undead. Uh, this one's actually quite good. It was nice to see the Brigadier return after such a long time. Uh, so yeah, not as bad as what fans say it is, and it's another underrated classic, and it's a great story nonetheless, given another chance. Terminus, probably like my least favorite out of the uh, Black Guardian trilogy box set. It, it's just so terrible. The, the costume and the designs, the whole plot doesn't make sense whatsoever. I'm not watching this one, and don't even bother watching it. It's a waste of time. And that's probably my least favorite of the P. Davidson era. Enlightenment, this is another one of my favorite, and probably the best out of the Black Guardian trilogy. It's a fantastic story. It's really dark, really terrifying. I liked how the Black Guardian gives gives you a jump scare sort of feeling to it. Yeah, <laughs> when he ran late pledges. So yeah, this is another fantastic story. Give this one a chance. Uh, the Five Doctors, which is the... Uh, 25th anniversary edition to the show, and what a say, it's great. I liked how originally Hartnell does the first doc, and he does it really well. It's nice to see John Pertwee and Patrick Trellington. Sadly, Tom Baker wasn't there, but lucky they were able to give him stock footage. It gave him a stock footage cameo, so yeah. It had every monster in it, Daleks, Cybermen, etc. So, yeah, this is probably one of the best. Warriors of the Deep. Now this is another underrated classic, and I got to say, it's a f another great story. Like it has like one of the most darkest endings in Doctor Who history. Like, like all the Sea Devils and Sly Urians and humans are dead except for the Doctor, Tigan, and Trollo. And the Fifth Doctor just said this, saying at the end of the episode before the credits rolling, he said, "There should have been another way." So yeah, this is a a great story and one of the another really dark horror theme story. Uh, the Awakening. This is another really dark horror theme story, and it's another underrated story as well. Give this one another chance. So, and it's a it's a great story. Like, give it another chance. It's a it's a really great horror theme story. Uh, Resurrection of Daleks. Nice return to the Daleks and the and Davros. But sadly, it's still a great story. But Probably one of the weaker Davros stories, nonetheless, but the, because it was just far too long, but lucky the, the four-parted edition makes up for it, so yeah. And Castro Valva, what a say, probably the best story, story in the Peter Davison era, and it's really dark, it's got really a horror theme to it, and yeah, and probably a great way to end the Peter Davison era on a good night, so yeah. So yeah, this one's a fantastic story, no less. So okay, I'll see you for the later parts. Later!